Okay, we're here outside Paddington Station today with the Mighty Cleaners on First Great Western. These people are campaigning for the London living wage. Of course, that was promised by Boris Johnson uh, when he took office as mayor. And of course, he's reneged on that promise. People here are working for the minimum wage, which is £6.39 an hour, over £2 less than the current London living wage, which is £8.85. Because we have a horrible situation here where people are working, even working overtime, and still having to claim benefits in order to survive. It's not on. And Mighty and First Great Western have to stop passing the book and address this situation and start implementing the London living wage. We're down here in Swindon taking a fight directly to First Great Western headquarters. First Great Western are accompanied and employ Mighty. First Great Western themselves are subsidised by the tune of hundreds of millions of pounds by the government and the taxpayer. And see fit to pay their workers 6.39 pence an hour. An absolute disgrace. These people behind us are not even allowed to travel on the trains free of charge. That they clean and the stations that they clean. Well, if it's good enough for the managing directors in there, they earn £100,000 a year plus. If it's good enough for all these company directors to do the same. If it's good enough for scabs and managers to travel free of charge on strike days, then all these things are good enough for those workers behind us. And we'll continue this campaign. Every one of these demands are met. Yeah, today is the culmination of uh, months now of negotiations with Mighty, where we failed to get a decent offer on the table. We've reached a position where they've offered 3%, but like we said, 3% of very little is very little. And quite clearly our demand has been from the beginning that these workers have to have the living wage. Nothing less, nothing different from that. We also want sick pay, we want proper travel facilities, and we want enhancements for overtime, uh, unsocial hours, and also weekends and bank holidays. Those are reasonable demands in this day and age. And there are things that First Great Western makes sure their own employees all get because we've negotiated with them over the years. Dear Mr Hotwood, please listen to your mighty workers. Our claim is fair and reasonable. We are mighty cleaners and we have come to your office today to let you know that we are protesting against poverty pay and conditions. First Great Western and Mighty are profiting at these people's expense and the RMT is here to say we don't accept that and we're delivering a very clear message to Mark Hotwood, the Managing Director of First Great Western to say that your fingerprints, Mark, are all over this dispute. You're stopping Mighty, you're in league with Mighty. You could resolve this dispute tomorrow by putting some of a small part of your profit into the wage structure for Mighty workers and resolve the problem. So that's why they're going to be here today. That's why they're going to be back, and we're going to keep coming back until we get a fair outcome of this dispute. So First Great Western needs to listen, and Mighty needs to listen as well.